Hi, today we are looking at the French-made Daher TBM 940, a fast single-engine turboprop that can hit speeds of up to 330 knots. That's a top speed of 380 miles per hour. In this video, I'm going to cover the performance and technology on board the TBM 940 and compare it to some of its competitors, such as the PC-12 NGX. Let's take a look at what makes this aircraft so special. Imagine you're a busy executive and you need to get around quickly, landing into destinations with short runways near to important business meetings. And you want to do all this safely and in style. Well, then consider the TBM 940. The standout feature of the TBM 940 is its incredible home safe technology. Don't you hate it when you're stuck in that awkward situation when the pilot on board has passed out and you have to land the plane yourself? Well now, thanks to HomeSafe, you just hold that central orangey red button for a few seconds and the aircraft kicks into life, saving the day. It will not only get you down safely by choosing adequate destinations, but it will actually be quite chatty, able to speak to air traffic control and other aircraft and you, as it informs you of the things that it's doing and reminds you not to panic. HomeSafe makes use of the Garmin Emergency Auto Land System available as part of the G3000 Integrated Flight Deck. HomeSafe has been under development by Daher for the TBM since 2017. This work included big data analysis and testing of 20 versions of HomeSafe systems. Once engaged, it looks for a suitable landing place and it takes into account the weather conditions, runway length, onboard fuel range, distance to the airfield, distance of the airfield, the environmental factors such as terrain, and it'll even communicate via radio to other aircraft and air traffic control about the aircraft's emergency status, and it'll display information and use its robotic voice to inform the passengers on board of what's happening and the steps that they need to take, such as strapping in and enjoying the ride. The Garmin Autoland system can be used at airports with a GPS approach and vertical guidance. So I assume that's also the case for the HomeSafe system. Great news for HomeSafe actually, the technology recently received its approval from both the European Aviation Safety Authority and the US Federal Aviation Administration. And if you already own a TBM 940 without HomeSafe and you think, yikes, I really want that technology, well, don't worry, you haven't missed out. You can get that technology available for a retrofit at the cost of 85,000 US dollars at its current price. If you want to learn more about HomeSafe and any other features of the TBM 940, I will put a link in the description below this video. So let's take a look at performance and how it compares to other single engine pressurized turbo props, such as the Pilatus PC-12 NGX. The TBM 940's max range is 1,730 nautical miles at the long range cruise speed of 252 knots, which is pretty damn good. They are stating that it can get to New York to Miami in three hours. If you want to see how that compares to other aircraft in its class, I'll put a link to the TBM Aero Rangefinder in the description below this video. That Rangefinder tool admittedly is created by TBM, but it shows you how the TBM 940 beats out other aircraft in its class, such as the Cessna M2, the Piper M600, and even the Honda Jet. It does actually lose out to the Pilatus PC-12 NGX in terms of range, but that aircraft is bigger and more costly. The max cruise speed is probably its standout feature. They're saying on the website it can do 330 knots, that's 380 miles per hour. That is a very impressive max speed, making it one of the fastest in its class. In fact, if you know of anything faster in its class, then please let me know in the comments. This is the max cruise speed listed on the website. However, when reading the pilot's operating handbook, it states that the max operating speed VMO is 266 knots. There are six seats on board, so that's four passengers and two pilots, or of course, five passengers and one pilot. The max payload is 1,400 pounds, and the max altitude is 31,000 feet, which is 1,000 feet higher than others in its class. I'm not sure how much of a difference the extra 1,000 feet makes, but it is nice to have, and it does probably make it safer, allowing you to fly 1,000 feet higher than other aircraft at flight level 300. 
The takeoff distance needed is really good at 2,380 feet. It's impressive when compared to other aircraft in its class, letting you get into and out of those shorter runways. So when I compare this aircraft to other aircraft in its class, you can see that it can fly faster and it can land in slightly shorter landing strips, which gives it the edge on being able to get about locally. Let's take a look at the technology on board the TBM 940. It was the world's first turboprop equipped with full autopilot integration. It has an auto throttle that decreases the workload of the pilot and improves performance, safety and protects the engine. As you would expect, it has a G3000 cockpit with flight envelope monitoring and underspeed protection that recognizes when underspeed is about to occur. It warns you via a smart stick shaker, which keeps you within the flight envelope. This is part of the electronic stability protection system, EPS system of this aircraft and many other aircraft with a G3000 cockpit, helping you to stay safe when flying manually. It has an emergency descent mode designed to take the aircraft to a safe altitude in the event of cabin depressurization. What makes it particularly powerful in the TBM 940 though is that it uses the auto throttle as well to reduce power and speed to descend safely. The TBM 940 also has an automatic de-icing system that detects and prevents any icing. It has a heart cell 5 blade propeller designed to improve takeoff distance, climb and cruise speed. The turboprop itself is a Pratt & Whitney PT6A engine designed for easy maintenance, efficiency and low operational costs. Speaking of costs, if you're thinking I like the sound of this aircraft but how much is it going to set me back? What's it going to cost? Well, it'll set you back around about 4.13 million US dollars, which is competitive considering the aircraft that you'll be getting. But there's good news when it comes to the operation costs. They are particularly keen to promote how low their operating costs are with a dedicated area on their website that shows you how much it's going to cost to operate. And it compares it to other aircraft in its class. They know who their competitors are and they have a tool that you can use to see how much money you'd be saving with a TBM 940. I'll put a link to the operating cost area of their website in the description below this video. Basically, it always comes out favorably with direct operating costs at around $1.91 per nautical mile for a 200 nautical mile sort of per year usage. So that concludes my short video on the TBM 940, another awesome single engine pressurized turboprop. This video is a video in a series of videos where I'm looking at different single engine turboprops in its class and comparing and contrasting them. There isn't any sponsorship here. I'm really just doing this for fun. It's really interesting to have a look at the technology and have a look at the, the performance of these different aircraft. Hopefully you enjoy it too. If you do, please leave comments down below, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos about general aviation aircraft because I've got more coming out. And finally, I will tell you a little bit about my online shop where I'm finding pilot related accessories at bargain prices powered by Amazon. If you want to pick yourself out a pilot accessory, again, link in the description below this video. And if you do want to have a browse, have a look at any of the items, it'll help to support the channel. Okay, with that said, thanks for watching. I'm Pilot Mike and safe flying.